And ahead of hosting the inaugural Korea Pacific Islands Multilateral Summit, President Yoon held one-on-one -on -one bilaterals with 10 leaders of Pacific Island countries. Our top office correspondent Oh si gives us a breakdown of who the president met and what was on the agenda. President Yoon seok yeol held bilateral talks with leaders of 10 Pacific Island nations, deepening South Korea's engagement with its neighbors in the Indo-Pacific. On Monday, he sat down with the leader of the Cooks Islands, which is currently chairing the Pacific Islands Forum, and the Prime Ministers of the Marshall Islands, Solomon Islands, Niue and Palau. They discussed South Korea's official development assistance projects in their countries, including water management, renewable energy and resource development, and expressed their intent to advance future exchanges and collaboration. In particular, Yoon's summit with the leader of Niue also coincided with the two countries forging official diplomatic ties on the same morning. Reviewing Seoul's bilateral relations with each of his Pacific counterparts, the South Korean leader has put a special focus on climate response, maritime cooperation, public health and development, as extreme climate events threaten the health of Pacific Islanders, as well as the region's economic and social development. On Sunday, he met with Kiribati's president, Tanati Mamao, who expressed interest in South Korea's economic development model and working on advancing the fishing industry and health. CEO Sisa Valeni, Prime Minister of Tonga, said he hopes to work with Seoul in the digital sector. Tonga was the first Pacific Island nation to forge diplomatic ties with South Korea in 1970. Meanwhile, Kaosea Natane, the leader of Tuvalu, highlighted cooperation on telecommunication facilities, hydrogen exports and decarbonisation in shipping. And the leader of Vanuatu also requested support in future development projects. James Marape, Prime Minister of Papua New Guinea, said he hopes for investment by South Korean manufacturers and for Seoul to reopen its foreign aid agency in his country. Going forward, President Yoon pledged to develop just and trust-based relations with the Pacific Island countries, all of which now have bilateral ties with South Korea. The leaders welcome Seoul's growing interest in development assistance to their countries. Oh Si-young, Arirang News.